Hey, what's good? It's your boy Matthew Michael coming at you again with another week of the Robin Hood 52 week options challenge. This week, uh, we're just going to take a look at my portfolio and see how it performed this week. But before we get into the video, I just want to give a quick shout out to the boy Ephraim or Ephraim. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce the name. I hope I said that right. But a uh, quick shout out to him for making this week's thumbnail. He, as you would say, slid in my DMs and not only did he introduce himself, he sent me a thumbnail for this week's video. So I thought, hey, why not? Let's use it. It looks dope. Yeah, so shout out to you. Uh, thank you so much for that, bro. Also, one more thing before we get into the video. Be sure to smash the like button. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any future content or giveaways. I post a new video every week and I would absolutely love to have you as part of the family. But without any further ado, let's get into the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, coming in. Okay, so it's Monday after market close and the market went on an absolute rip today. And let me tell you, my account, well, let's just hop in Robinhood and take a look. Okay, so we're here in the handy dandy Robin Hood, and as you can see, my account is down $347 on the day. The value of my account was cut in more than half, and yeah, that's that's how today's market rip went for me, but I'm not feeling this at all. Well, I'm feeling it, but I'm not. Let me first update y'all with what happened on Friday. So on Friday, I bought an Adobe put. I only had one. Let me, t let me show y'all. Uh, I bought an Adobe put for 320 and then today I bought another one at 115 to scale in but I'm down two dollars on the one I scaled in on too but the Adobe put is actually for January 3rd so I'm not really rushing it and it's for $310 and then also what else I was holding on Friday I bought a Roku call for $125 and I sold out of it today uh, so I bought it for $125 and I sold out of it for $136 so I made $11 profit on Roku and, and I couldn't be more satisfied I really feel like I got out at a good time I, I took profit so I can't complain so I'm happy with that. But Adobe, we're down on it right now and I'm not ready to exit. So either this week is about to be boring, I may end up holding this for the next couple weeks, but I'm, I'm taking profit on Adobe. So uh, that's what's up. Also wanted to show y'all. Okay, so this morning, the market rip. I was at work and then I look at my, I look at my phone, particularly Tesla. I look at my phone about right here. Tesla is up already $18 on a day and I'm just like, yeah, I would once I saw it up seven dollars, you know, I usually hop in and see, hey, what's going on with Tesla? I'm I'm along for the ride. Even if I hopped in at seven dollars, I would have took some profits on Tesla. But hey, you live, you learn. I'm gonna have to stop working pretty soon because it's it's really killing me in the market. It seems like the market only wants to move when I work. But hey, it is what it is. Uh just gotta let my FOMO go. But uh I got one other cool thing to show y'all uh on this Monday. Okay, so you know, we got the Robin Hood debit card and you know, my cash is swept other places now. I just wanted to show you that so far for this month, I have earned six cents in interest off of $47 swept cash. So I think that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, that's it for Monday. Right now we have $63 buying power. We're just we're just chilling with Adobe. So, so yeah, I will catch y'all tomorrow or the next day. I will catch y'all when I catch y'all and yeah that's it for today we're here on Wednesday after market close and let's just hop into Robin Hood okay so as you can see we're in the handy dandy Robin Hood and on the day we are down again uh, $31 and 12 cents that is 12.77 percent and on the week we're down 58.97 percent and that is three hundred five dollars and fifty cents so it's not looking good so far this week, but let's just take a look at action. Okay, so yesterday I bought Tesla for $59. It lost a bunch to premium. This morning, Tesla was ripping, but then it kind of stopped for a little bit. I really just spent too much time looking at the chart. I think right here, it did its rip, and then it was kind of just chilling, and it just lost so much value. I was kind of constricted with time, so. I sold out about right here in this area and then Tesla just ripped for the day. So I bought high, sold low. Um, I bought a 412 call for $59 and I sold it 
for 29 so I lost $30 on that. That's almost everything we lost in one day right there in that trade. Then the Adobe put, that's down too. On the day, that's down $38. We got some time on both the options we're in right now. I'm really just holding on to this Adobe. Got $24 buying power. Yeah, we're gonna see how all this goes. Micron actually just announced earnings. It did not end up in favor of the puts, but I'm still gonna hold on to those for a little bit. There's no telling when, but Christmas is gonna come and I'm telling you guys right now, profits coming, it may not be this week, but stay tuned. That's it for today. All right, and it is Friday after market close. Let's hop in Robinhood and take a look at the portfolio. All right, so as you can see, we're in the Henny Denny Robinhood and we are down another $31.59 today. Uh, let's take a look at the week and see how we performed. Ouch. We're down $158.60 on the week. So yeah, this week wasn't so hot. Let's take a look at what I did since last time y'all saw me and then let's go over what I plan on doing from here on. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I have a 110 Nike call. I was playing earnings. It expires next Friday, so I'm gonna hold it. I'm not expecting anything too extravagant, but I still think Nike could rise some and that it could possibly go up from the $2 value it has right now uh, at least get a couple dollars back i have two adobe puts and they're worth 49 dollars each they're the majority of the portfolio right now yeah we've lost a total of 300 or we we haven't lost it yet we have not lost it yet and that is why we're still in this this is why i am still hey okay we're down 337 dollars on it the stock market has had an absolutely amazing week <laughs> along with the stock market having an amazing week Adobe has as well so uh, that's that and then I was playing earnings from Micron too I thought it might see a drop this was actually a play brought to my attention by one of y'all shout out to Jeff it's not looking like it's going to be too successful this time but paid nine dollars for that had a ninety dollar profit potential so it was something I was willing to do anything could happen for any of these one of the things best things about getting times on your options is anything can happen uh, but let me show y'all this either Tuesday or Wednesday I bought a Tesla call, I paid $59 for it, way out of money, $412, and I believe Tesla was around like $380 or something. Let's hop to the chart. Okay, look at Tesla on the week. I think I bought it right about here. Tesla was around, it was a little below $380. I was like, Tesla call, $412. I held it, I held it all day. And right here, I was still down on the position because of the time decay, so... It was really looking like, at this point from when I bought it, Tesla was already up about eight or nine dollars. If that didn't offset the time decay, it really doesn't look like Tesla's moving. I'm just gonna let it go. The day goes on, after I let it go, I let it go around like, I think 11.30. And then time goes on, Tesla decides to have a late rip. And then it gets, gets up to a point like right here. And the option, it was only about $20, worth $20 more at this point, but if I would have held on to it, I would have took $20 profit, but instead I took a loss on it. The next day comes, I didn't even dream of holding it this long because the time decay on Tesla options are crazy. Next thing you know, it gets up to 405 and I look at the option I had, it's at about $200 now. Yeah, definitely missed out there. And then what's even crazier is today at the start of the day, it doesn't show up, but Tesla hit 413. The call was in the money and I, was not in it. I'm I'm really hoping for a test. I'm really hoping for Adobe to go down. Adobe has had an absolutely phenomenal week, and really, I'm not too worried. I have all next week. I have the next week after that. I'm I'm chilling right now. Uh, I I have till January 3rd. As long as Adobe starts heading back, we're gonna be all right. And as it starts to trend closer, I may let go of one of those puts, and you know, use the money for something else. But Right now we just going chill in Adobe. I'm not really going to worry as much about uh, checking the portfolio while while it's like that. Uh, I might check Adobe, you know, a couple times a day, but I'm not going to check as frantically as I normally would because I'm not in as many options. Yeah, that's really it for now. Stay tuned next week because I just took a whole entire week of getting beat down every day. So y'all know what's up. Every setback is a setup for a major comeback don't sleep also just wanted to get it out there for the many of you who have been requesting how to do taxes on robin hood the things you need to consider especially when trading options i had definitely not forgotten about you i was going to make a video before the year ended 
but I thought about it and most brokerages don't really release the tax statements until January, February. They have to by uh, February 15th. So in that time, as soon as I can, I will get the video up. I, I like to do my taxes early anyway. So know that that's coming up. Stay on the lookout for that. And if you've never done your taxes for the stock market, know that for every bit of profit that you make, you have to pay taxes. Whether it's an options trade, whether you buy, sell a regular stock, Uncle Sam makes sure to take his piece of the pie. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about anything, I mean anything, feel free to ask down below in the comments. Hit me up on Instagram at Matthew Michael Money or hop into Discord. There are several people who will answer your questions there now. Yeah, hop in there. It's it's a it's a community there. People are starting to help people in there. People are starting to get plays. It's it's starting to look good. Also, also be sure to smash the like button. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And peace.